Welcome everyone. So in this video I'm going to show you how to make this little LED Pong box and uh, it's a little game where you bounce the LEDs back and forth but uh, I need to have something to hold the electronics so I thought that I would use uh, wood instead of using the 3D printers because 3D printers are very slow but the laser cutters is very precise and very fast and you can see all the electronics I'm just using a Arduino you know and I soldered it all up in the other series of the video. I'll show you how to program it and everything here. But this box is very nice. This made from wood and it also has the wood push buttons as well. So how to do it. With any design, it takes a lot of uh, trials and errors. So you can see all the other designs I made that weren't correct until I got the perfect fit. So I have all these printed and then to assemble it, this is the top, this is the bottom, the two sides, and then you also have the switch right here. So this is the example. <clears throat> now, if, if you look, usually there's a burnt side because the laser is cutting, and then there's a clean side. So what you want to make sure is that the clean sides are on the, and the burnt sides would be in. Now, if you put this here, you'll notice that it is a little bit difficult to push them in because I purposely cut them a little bit wider for these little tabs to make it so that you don't need to use as much glue when you're putting the, bo the box together. But, so that means that you have to kind of push them together like this and then we can put on here, just be careful not to push here. This is kind of thin right here and there. So you want to kind of assemble your box looking like this. <clears throat> and if they don't go in, just, just give it a little wiggle. Okay. And then I'm going to flip it over. I'm going to put these up like so. And this side one. Just be careful when you're going up. You don't want it to, them to break. But just want to assemble these like that. Kind of just wiggle it slowly. Okay. And then this is the bottom. There we go. Don't push down on these um, too hard yet. We still have to assemble it. All right. After you have your box assembled like this, what you want to do is take one of the skewers and put it through the hole here and just do a little bit of twisting and then you want to so that it pops through the other side as well just like so take your snipping tools and break it off just be careful the piece may go flying and you want to do the same use kind of just twist it through the hole here so that's the assembly box now what we have to do is use some sandpaper we can grind off these edges here now you'll notice that actually on the corner I actually cut the wood so it has a little bit higher than it is and so um, that's so that you can sand and actually get it uh, flush with this and we also need to sand this down I'm just using some good sandpaper and then sanding down each one of those wood pegs
And here we go. Here's my nice sanded uh, box here. All the edges are smooth and it's not black anymore. And there we go. Don't forget to clean up your dust from your table. We need to offset because as the laser, laser cuts, it does cut a certain width. You can actually see that there's a small crack around that hole. So we have to compensate for the width of the laser so the parts perfectly fit. Tip when you're designing your design here is for these little grooves, you want to make them a little bit wider. So this is about 14 millimeters and this is about 15. So it's about one millimeter difference because we have, a, we have to account for the laser width. Otherwise it won't be a snug fit. Thanks for watching this video. Hope it helped out. If you enjoy electronics or want to learn about how to fix electronics, consider subscribing and I'll see you in the next video.